Zen Echoes, A Tale of Inner Peace. In a secluded temple nestled among the hills of Japan, where the gentle rustling of leaves and the soothing trickle of a nearby stream created a symphony of serenity, lived a young monk named Hiro. Hiro's presence was like a calm pool of water, reflecting the tranquil wisdom he had cultivated through years of devoted practice. Hiro's days were a testament to the teachings of Zen. He meditated in the early morning mist, tended to the temple's gardens with mindful care, and shared moments of quiet contemplation with the other monks. Yet, amidst his peaceful surroundings, Hiro carried a question that tugged at the corners of his mind. What was the true essence of inner peace? One day, as Hiro sat in meditation beneath a blossoming cherry tree, a butterfly alighted on a nearby peel. Its delicate wings fluttered, and Hiro found himself captivated by its graceful movements. He observed how the butterfly seemed to float effortlessly, as if carried by an unseen current. In that moment, a realization washed over Hiro. The butterfly embodied a state of inner peace. Its existence was a dance of harmony, a reflection of nature's rhythm that transcended worry and doubt. Hiro understood that true inner peace was not an absence of challenges, but a surrender to the flow of life's currents. Inspired by this revelation, Hiro embarked on a journey to explore the concept of inner peace further. He wandered through fields and forests, seeking wisdom from the world around him. Along the way, he encountered a wise old sage named Kaido, known for his profound insights into the human heart. Hiro shared his quest with Kaido, expressing his longing to grasp the elusive essence of inner peace. Kaido listened with a gentle smile, his eyes reflecting a depth of understanding. Inner peace, young one, he began, is like the echo of a temple bell that lingers in the air long after it has ceased to ring. Intrigued by Kaido's metaphor, Hiro inquired further. Kaido continued, just as the echo of a bell reverberates through the silence, inner peace is a resonance that remains even as life's challenges ebb and flow. It is the recognition that every moment is a note in the symphony of existence. Hiro's heart resonated with Kaido's words, and he spent days contemplating the idea of inner peace as an echo. He realized that like the echo, inner peace wasn't something to be grasped or possessed. It was a state of being that emerged naturally when one aligned with the rhythms of life. With newfound clarity, Hiro returned to the temple and shared Kaido's wisdom with the other monks. He emphasized that inner peace was not a destination, but a continuous journey. A journey of mindful awareness, surrender, and acceptance. The monks embraced this teaching, recognizing that the echoes of inner peace were always present, waiting to be heard amidst the noise of everyday life. Over time, Hiro's teachings spread beyond the temple's walls, touching the lives of villagers and travelers alike. His parable of the temple bell's echo became a source of inspiration, reminding people to listen for the echoes of inner peace within themselves. And so, in the tranquil setting of the Japanese hills, Hiro's story became a testament to the transformative power of understanding inner peace as an echo that resonated through every experience. He taught that by surrendering to life's currents and aligning with its rhythms, one could cultivate a sense of harmony, acceptance, and tranquility that lingered long after life's challenges had passed.